Rowan Williams said, Biblical history reveals the God who writes straight with crooked lines. Genesis ends with the chosen people abandoning the promised land, yet we know one day they will return to it. Later on, the people demanded a king against God's advice, yet the kingship will become another sign of God's promise. King David is chosen by God, but his career is a roller coaster of failure, flight, betrayal, danger, precarious recovery, and tragic frustration. In this complex human emotions and uncertainties of this drama, it is God's action that is going forward and God's company that is one secure constant. So friends, even in this COVID-19 pandemic, we may face uncertainties and unknowns, but God is unfolding His will and His presence is a comforting certainty. So we must continue to move ahead with what we know. This week from 1 Corinthians 13, it is a reminder for us to love and love well where God has planted us so that we may be a good steward of the gospel. Love enough to speak truth. Love enough to confront sin. Love those that you lead because we trust in a God who is writing straight in our lives with crooked lines. So no matter what is happening or what you have done, we can all pursue love, the more excellent way and the greatest gift of all. 1 Corinthians 12 says, But earnestly desire the greater gifts, and I show you still a more excellent way. Love never fails, but if there are gifts of prophecy, they will be done away. If there are tongues, they will cease. If there is knowledge, it will be done away. But now, faith, hope, love, abide these three. But the greatest of these is love. May God bless you and keep you.